This video is going to deal with some model selection. So we're going to look at the last three problems of the review. And we're going to use a little bit of a regression and some just determining how we can pick the best fit. So the following table shows us a total sales of S of a shirt when it's priced at P dollars. So our input is P dollars, our output is in sales. So we're going to use the regression capabilities of the calculator to find a regression, a linear regression equation. And so we'll go through that. So it's all going to be under the stat menu. And I'm going to edit my lists. And I'm going to put these in at L1 and L2. So I'm going to clear out what I already have in there. Hit clear, not delete. And so now I'm going to enter my list. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 for my P, my L2 is 25, 23, 20, 18, 17, 15. I make sure my lists are the same length and that I got my data enter correctly. Always double check that. If you miss even one point, you won't get the right answer. Now I'm going to go back to stat and I'm going to calculate my linear regression. And there's my model. It says I have a slope of negative 2 and a y-intercept of 44.7. And they're the negatives on the slope, the positives on the B, so it's going to be A. The next problem actually is not even going to require regression. We're trying to figure out which model has the best fit. Well, we can look at what's going on with the data. Notice that it increases as as X is increasing. Excuse me. The data increases, then it decreases then it increases again. So the data increases, then it decreases, then it increases again. So we're not going to want to use a linear model because it's got no concavity. A quadratic's not going to be good enough because it doesn't, it, it would only go turn, change directions once. We need something that changes directions twice. So a cubic seeming like the best possibility. Now notice these are two pretty similar ones. What I'm going to look at now is the end behavior. Notice that as x goes to positive infinity, the function goes to positive infinity. And as x goes to negative infinity, the function goes to negative infinity. That tells me I want a positive lead coefficient. So it has to be c is the model that best represents this data. The negative would cause the end behavior to go in the opposite direction. So in other words, it would go down, up, down. So that's how we can choose the best model out of the different types of polynomials. And finally, our last problem. Population grows exponentially as shown below. Which of the following is the regression model for this data? So once again, we're going to use reg our regression capabilities of our calculator. And let's go through that one more time. Stat, edit. And I'm going to clear my list, not delete them. And enter my data. One, two, three. 4, 6.3, 18.9, and 170.1. Lists are the same length. I've got everything entered correctly. Stat, calc. Exponential regression is towards the bottom. Enter, and now we're ready to execute. And we see that we get an initial value of 2.1 and a base of 3. The exponential model that has that is answer B. And that's what we can do that using regression.